take a look at this one, guys. And the main important thing you guys need to understand with this is we have an equation. And basically, this is asking you for y equals 4 minus absolute value of x, which uh, you know another way I could look at this is y equals negative absolute value of x plus 4. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure we know what the heck does the absolute value function look like. Well, remember, guys, from algebra 2, that is the V-shaped graph. Just looks like this. Up one over one, up one over one, right? Has a slope of one on both sides going to look like that. So now we just need to understand the transformations. So here, if we were multiplying by negative a as multiplying, remember from quadratics, algebra one, algebra two, and that negative, that means you're reflecting about the x-axis. So now this v graph is now facing down. And then the plus four is doing what? Is that shifting left or right? right. Up or down? Which one is it? It's actually going up four. If it was inside the function, that would be your horizontal transformation. So the graph just looks like this. One, two, three, four. Now, if I want to find these intercepts, I could go, the slope is still down one over one. I could also figure out when it's equal to 0 just by go ahead and um, plug in those values. And what you can see is it's going to be equal to 0 at negative 4 and positive 4. Or you could just go down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, down one over one, get the same result. All right. Question? What? No, no question. Okay. All right, so now here's our graph. Now we're basically looking for what is going to be the integral here from negative 4 to 4. So we're basically looking from this graph from negative 4 to 4. And what we're doing is we're looking for the basic the area that is going to represent. That's how we can evaluate the integrals by identifying this area. And notice that the area is all above the x-axis, right? There is no area that is below the x-axis. So we don't have to find the accumulation. We don't have to add the certain areas. So in this case, all we simply need to do is figure out, well, what is the, my, you know, the area of a triangle equals 1 half base times height. So my base here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 half, 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4. And that final answer gives me 16. Okay. 